once someone has prostate cancer, the first thing we look at is the pathology, the, the results of the biopsy. It's often called the Gleason score. And the Gleason score is something that um, is a histologic diagnosis. It's something that we have to do a biopsy to get. And what a Gleason score does is it tells us the aggressiveness of the tumor. Even though the score really goes from 1 to 10, technically, 1 through 5 is really benign. It's not cancer. And so 6 through 10 is really the numbers that you need to look at. Obviously, with the 6s and 7s being on the lower side and the 9s and 10s being on the high side. Um, across the spectrum, obviously, we, we want to not have the higher grade tumors, but higher grade tumors are often curable as well. And so the treatment options are not eliminated by having higher grade prostate cancer. The other things that we look at is we look at the PSA, uh, we look at the other imaging studies that you've had cat scans, bone scans, PET scans, and then also we look at your medical history, what are the comorbidities you have, and family history. So all of these things go together in order for us to kind of formulate in our head what we would advise you to do. Ultimately, it's the patient that makes the decision. The patient has to be the one that says, this is the right thing for me. And our job as physicians is really to make sure that you have good informed decision making on all the various different options. We'll give you advice and then it's up to you and your family to decide on what's best.